Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play for Vintage Story. This is version 1.19, Djank Redux. I'm going to be playing another Wilderness Survival playthrough, but instead of generating a new world in single player, I'm actually going to be joining a multiplayer server. Well, it's going to be a single player server, but I'm just... I'm doing a server instead of generating it on my own PC to offload all of the world generation calculations and stuff like that. And that would increase my frame rate. So let's get into this. It's basically going to be similar to all the other playthroughs that I've done, except now when I light fires or if I collapse dirt, it's not going to kill my frame rate. So anyway, let's just go right into this last selection and we're going to continue playing the commoner class and there's a bush in my way. Nice. Wait, where am I? Oh, whoa. I collapsed something already without ever seeing it. All right. So I'm in a shale area and this is what I collapsed. So shale on the surface and it looks like granite beneath it I'm in the forest I'm in danger let's get out of here oh uh, where is north oh how about we just make a run for it Like, I need to get out of this forest because this is a dangerous place to be in. But there's a trader. Let's stay here for a while, I guess. You're a furniture trader, so you're pretty much useless. I guess if I need a copper lantern, I'll come back for you. But Oh, you sell wooden chests for two gears. So I can... If I can get some gears, I can actually get some good storage right away. Problem is, like, I'm gonna have trouble finding you again. Okay, let's just get some of this horse tail. We're gonna need that for healing. I'm just gonna get 16 of this right off the bat. Or 17, whatever. Okay, these sticks on the ground. Okay, we got a clearing here. This will help me get my bearings. Except I can't see the sun see the shadows here so the sun is somewhere over there which means that is east that is west that's north and that's south all right got my bearings let's get some knives or get a knife whatever Okay, let's start getting the cattails. But they did change the animation to this. Like you're still hitting it rapidly, but it just looks a little bit slower. Just gotta remember that furniture trader is to the west of here. Maybe I can like set up near the furniture trader, cut down some trees, make a shelter. Now the big thing about this update is that they did another pass on the ruins. Basically they changed it around so 
we have all new ruins. And it's like loaded with stuff. Like from the Resonance Archive. Well, not necessarily from the Resonance Archive, but the assets from it. Like journals and stuff like that. As well as the new blocks introduced like in the previous update. So it might actually be worthwhile digging this stuff up, except this one's underwater. So I'm not going to bother with that just yet. Oh, we're in limestone. So never mind building near the trader. I want to stay in the limestone area as well. It's also nice and like open. It's uncommon, the rainfall in this area. So this looks like a good place to set up, actually. Okay, got 30 cattails right now. I need 40 to fill up, get my inventory space. So right off the bat, you don't start off with inventory space, as you can see here. You actually need to craft it. That's why I need 40 cattails. So I can craft these baskets here. There we go. I get four baskets. Three of them... Three inventory slots each. I need 24 cattails to get up a basic storage. That I can put on the ground. Here's one of those new ruins. So all of the ruins are completely replaced as far as I know. So everything I know about these ruins is now gone. So... Try to find these vessels again. Oh, we got tools. Shovel and knife. All right. Not bad. Now, I'm avoiding these tools because for my purposes, they are useless. It's only used for the thatch roofing. Pretty much it. There's a lot of these, so I was hoping it would be much more useful than for roofing. There's some cattails in there, but I don't want to try and dig through it. Grab some food here. Now, we are in a gravel area, but I want to stay here because this is a limestone area. We're going to need that for lime later on. There's like one material we don't need to look for anymore. By a forest as well. So let's munch on this real quick. need to find some cattails. Unless I... Probably gonna have to go back. Because I know there's cattails there. I was hoping to get a big cluster of it. What the hell are those things? Okay, non-hostile. Like, they added a whole bunch of, like, different animals to the game. I think they behave like the sheep. But, I don't know for sure. They did change the animals, the animal behavior just a little bit. If I get too close to the babies, the adults will attack me. So, gotta be careful there.
Oh, we're by Shale. Oh, we did start at Shale. Yeah, this is one of those ruins where it's like, if you dig underneath these ruins, you can actually find stuff. Is round coal. Okay, we just need two more of these. Got our storage here. Alright, so we we're gonna have to set up our temporary house. But before I do that though. This going to get our torch right off the bat. There we go. Toss this away. And light this on fire. Yeah, you knew this was coming. At least those of you who have been following this channel for a long time. You damn well I was going to do this. So why aren't... Why isn't this fire being lit? What? Come on. Light this thing on fire. Am I missing something here? Did something change? Because... The way I'm doing this right now, holding control and right click, this should set this tree on fire. But it's not. Does it have something to do with server settings? Great. Okay, I'm gonna have to double check the server settings. Because I should be able to light fires. Like, I was hoping I could clear out entire swaths of trees here just for that vision. But apparently something went wrong. Anyway, let's get away from here. Let's start digging some dirt. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, we should dig the dirt somewhere with that I'm actually going to be building. Now keep in mind, I'm going to be building a temporary house. Uh, just so that I have a safe place to go and store my stuff. Eventually, I'll be looking for a permanent location and building there. But until that happens, I need a place to stay. I'm looking for three stacks of dirt. That should be enough to build my house. While I'm at it, I should also be on the lookout for some clay. I don't know why it's lightning and thunder. Not even raining. Maybe it's raining nearby. I do want to set up the house like near water so I can do some panning. The night with a dreaded panning. You know, believe it or not, there is actually people out there who enjoy panning. Shocking, I know.
Oh, music is coming on, so... I need to hurry up. Oh, come on. I just fat-fingered Q. Actually, the music came on early. It's still, like, very early still. But it is getting closer to nighttime, so I do have to rush this. I forget if I passed by a clay deposit. Like, I wasn't paying attention to the clay. I was mainly focusing on getting to this clearer area. Getting my inventory up and running. Okay, one more line. And then start setting up. I need to eat. We're going to set up over here. Okay, let's get our packed dirt. Then we'll start building. Of... Do it like this. We don't need that much space. Excuse me. I do have a little bit of a sore throat, to be honest. Just had to happen right as Vintage Story 1.19 becomes stable. I'm not gonna let that stop me. I did have some tea. I'm gonna be drinking that all throughout this playthrough. Maybe just this play session. <laughs> Come on, throat, work with me. Should have just enough. All right, so we got this house. Now I do need to get axe, start chopping down wood. All right. Fortunately for this forest, I can't burn you down. Let me just try this one more time. Like, I don't understand this. It's probably is the server settings. Let's chop this down real quick. I only need enough wood for the firewood and the door.
Whoa, I saw that. Wow, the lightning is striking in this area, even though it's not raining. Alright, that should be good. Make a pine door. It's this one. So, two here, three here, and the axe. Here. Oh. Lightning is striking so close to me. Alright, we have a secure place. Oh, let's also put down our storage here. Also gonna need... Put two fire pits here. Okay, we're also going to have to harvest some more grass. And I probably shouldn't have turned all of that fire uh, logs into firewood because I do need it for the panning thing. Alright, I guess we're going to chop down another tree. Unfortunately, I can't find a clay deposit here. At the very least, I should look for one. Maybe there is one nearby that we can exploit real quick. Got some more fruit. Well, let's just dig some sand right now. If we can't find any clay, then we'll just, like, pan this throughout the night. Not sure if I did come across a clay deposit. take this food for the time being. Yeah, I don't think there was a clay deposit here. Going into the forest, so probably should head back. But let's check around here first. Now, I'm ignoring the crops for the time being because we have so little inventory space and storage space that like, it's better to just leave it as is for the time being. It is getting real dark. Okay, peat deposit. You want? I'm gonna take this. One more line, and then we'll head back. Well, never mind. The shovel broke. Getting real dark now. Still need grass as well. Okay, that should be good enough. 
Alright, so let's head back. That was a decent first day. Well, pretty good, actually. When you consider that we have limestone already ready to go. And it's also calm, so I can go outside if I need to. Let's combine our inventory, though. Need one birch log. Let's just plant this outside. Alright, load up on fruit and then we'll start panning. Got nothing else at this point. I probably should get some cattails and convert those to bandages. Well, anyway, let's do one thing at a time. Let's start digging these. It's gonna light these torches. Yeah, I don't get it. So I can't light this on fire. So what the hell? You know what? I'm gonna try something. So if I can't light the ground on fire anymore. Again, I have to check the server settings, but if I can't do that, how about... About, how about... How about I light this on fire? What that? What do you gotta say about that? Denied. All right, so game isn't letting me light stuff on fire. Again, it has to be server settings. <coughs> oh, let's just get this out of the way. Alright, let's get in here and start panning. So this works just a little bit differently than before. Just need to uh, click right click instead of holding it down. And the reason I wanted you panning like, so early on is because I need to get those copper nuggets so that I can get out of the stone age and go to the copper age like as quickly as possible. Looks like I got one nugget right here and it's not copper. But getting this uh, out as quickly as possible means, like, as soon as I get 40 to 60 copper nuggets, I won't have to do any more panning for the rest of the game. I just want to get this out of the way. 
that I could do other things. Do I have any copper yet? No. This is the problem. The game is very stingy on the copper. 